What this Digital Security by Design programme really is about is looking at a major shift away from this cycle of patching and vulnerability mitigations to sort of a new platform. The Digital Security by Design Technology Access programme is your opportunity to get involved. We had one big trouble with trying to do digital security by design in 1975. We didn't have enough transistors. The UK can be a leader in this place. Our national cyber strategy 2022 is to make the UK into a leading global cyber power. Data breaches, spyware, viruses. The most remarkable thing is that this is still with us. Software, we buy it, it's broken all the time. We just don't know it's broken until people discover that. And often it's the wrong kind of people who discover that, that it's actually broken. We need to stop patching things up with the cyber equivalent of gaffer tape um, and actually fix the foundations. We're trying to build new hardware and software technologies that fundamentally mitigate security vulnerabilities. We expect bridges to stay up and buildings to stay up. So you expect engineers to solve those problems for you. And really we're doing something very similar for computers. We've got to learn to get the right balance between people, the software and the hardware. Cybersecurity is not just a technical issue. There's a lot of initiatives and programs that are going on around digital security by design, but the time is now for different parts of the ecosystem to collaborate and really work together. This is a global shift that's occurring. We're actually trying to change the way computers run software. Let's fix those foundations. All these brilliant people are coming together to solve some of these legacy problems and give a strong foundation for the future. And a lot of our work in the last year has been around trying to envision what future digital security by design might offer to us. If we look to the future, we'll all benefit from having more trustworthy computing systems in terms of areas like our healthcare, travel and transport, and just general well-being for all society. Seeing a solution to these architectural problems that are 30 years old is, is probably the most exciting thing I can think of in computing.